In year 1941, Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, the naval base at Harbor was bustling with daily routine for another day of duty and the sun was just about to rise. Sailors on the deck enjoying the warm Hawaiian breeze as they went about their tasks. Others were below deck, eating in the mess halls or sleeping quarters, unaware of the events that were about to unfold. As the sun began to rise over the tranquil waters of Pearl Harbor, a different story was being unfolded across the vast Pacific Ocean. The sleeping soldiers, sailors eating, little did they know that their world was about to be shattered by an act of treachery that would change the course of history forever. Across the vast Pacific Ocean, in the shadow corridors of Japan Imperial Empire, a plan was set in motion that would shake the world to its core. The mastermind Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, a brilliant strategist concerned about United States growing power in the Pacific waters, comes up with a strategy of striking a crippling blow against the United States Navy. For months, Yamamoto meticulously planned every detail of what would become one of the most daring military operations in history the attack on Pearl Harbor. He clearly understood the risks and the consequences, but he also saw an opportunity to weaken America's resolve and pave the way for Japanese expansion in the Pacific waters. Under Yamamoto's command, with a keen eye for detail and a strategic mind, honed by years of experience, Yamamoto personally supervised every aspect of the training regiment. From aerial combat tactics to navigation and target acquisition, no detail was overlooked. In preparing his soldiers, particularly pilots, they underwent through tough training, honing their skills, and preparing for the mission ahead. On the morning of December 7, 1941, as the first light of sun was about to rise the horizon, Japanese pilots and crewmen readied themselves for the task at hand. Their faces grim with determination, they knew that they were embarking on a mission that would change the course of history. With engines roaring and guns loaded, the Japanese pilots took to the air, planes streaking towards their targets with deadly precision. Each pilot knew the risks they faced, but they pressed on, driven by duty and loyalty to their country. On the morning of 7th December, 1941, the skies over Pearl Harbor were filled with the roar of Japanese aircraft as they launched a devastating surprise attack on the United States Naval Base. As they descended upon Pearl Harbor, the Japanese soldiers unleashed a torrent of destruction upon the unsuspecting American forces below. At first, the bombs fell, followed by the sound of gunfire, echoed through the harbor. The sailors and soldiers of Pearl Harbor were met with shock and disbelief. Caught off guard and unprepared for the ferocity of the assault, found themselves thrust into a nightmare from which there would be no escape. For many soldiers, the initial shock of the attack quickly turned into horror as they witnessed the devastation wrought upon their comrades and their ships in the base. The air around the harbor was filled with the screams of the wounded and the cries of those trapped amidst the wreckage. In the midst of the carnage, acts of bravery and selflessness emerged as sailors and soldiers rallied to aid their wounded comrades. Despite their own fear and pain, they refused to abandon their fellow servicemen, offering comfort and support. In their darkest hours of life and death situation, sailors aboard the USS Arizona exhibited extraordinary bravery as they worked tirelessly 
to save their fellow crewmates, trapped in the sinking battleship, with flames engulfing the ship and ammunition exploding around them. These brave individuals risked their lives to rescue as many survivors as possible. On other vessels, such as the USS Oklahoma and USS Nevada, sailors demonstrated incredible resilience and resourcefulness in the midst of the onslaught. They fought valiantly to defend their ships against overwhelming odds, manning anti-aircraft guns and engaging enemy aircraft, despite of being outnumbered and outgunned by far. On the other hand, sailors aboard various ships displayed remarkable ingenuity and quick thinking in the chaos of battle, improvising repairs and efforts to keep their vessels afloat and combat ready amidst the carnage. As the smoke begins to clear, the chaos of the devastation became apparent and the true horror of war began to set in. The Pearl Harbor attack reveals a scene of devastation and heartbreaking loss. The once mighty battleships of the U.S. fleet, lying shattered, battered, and burning, their decks littered with the wreckage of warplanes and the bodies of fallen heroes. Sailors and soldiers, many of them were young and inexperienced, found themselves facing unimaginable suffering as they grappled with injuries inflicted by bombs, bullets, and shrapnel. The attack was swift and devastating. Multiple battleships, including the USS Arizona, were severely damaged and sunk to the bottom, sadly. Hundreds of aircraft were destroyed and thousands of American servicemen were killed, wounded, in this act of treachery and infidelity. The surprise attack on Pearl Harbor shocked the American public and galvanized national resolve. It stirred deep feelings of anger and determination to retaliate against Japan and its Axis allies. On December 8, 1941, President Roosevelt, in his speech, directs the Congresses to declare that a state of war exists between United States and the entire empire of Japan. I ask that the Congress declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. on Japan on our next video.